YouTube, what is going on? It is dboy352, and I am bringing you another TCG Card Shop Simulator Hack video. Now, this video is because they updated it today to 49.2, and with that, they changed the way that the game processes the save files. So it no longer uses the GD save file, it now uses the JSON save file. So I'm going to show you how to go through and do all the previous hacks in this video that we did on the GD files. It's, it's the same thing for the most part, um, but instead of using the website where it's actually very easy, we have to use a different program, which is a little bit more difficult. So as you see, we have my hack store here, uh, level three, day one, $690. I have nothing unlocked. Warehouse is not unlocked. I have no events because I've had nobody play. And I just purchased this and put this in. Um, that, just like in the other one, we are gonna use that to give ourselves whatever card we want. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the money, the level, the day, the events, unlock the shop, unlock the warehouse, and fully upgrade it and get you guys set up. So we are gonna do it just like we did before with no cuts and no edits. What we do need is a program called Notepad++. And what this program does, it allows us to change the JSON file in order to uh, change our save. So the save file is in the same place as it was in your hard drive, users, your username. Then we're gonna do slash app data, hit enter, local low, OP Neon Games, card shop simulator and everything in this file is the same uh, the backup files are exactly the same we still have zero one two three uh, but the, the difference is we are going to do save games release one dot json this is going to be for save slot one which is the one that we are modifying so when we open it all of this is the code and all those 38 pages that we saw on saveeditonline.com, it's basically in here in one long string of code. The problem with using this program is that if I delete this, that will throw off the rest of the code and this save file will no longer work until that is fixed. So you really have to pay attention to what you're changing and only change what I show you. So what we're going to do is hit Control F to find, and we are going to be looking for the word coin. And if we hit find next, this is the only result you will get if you can hear me clicking. This right here will change how much money you have in game. And just like that, that is what $6,900,000. That's how much money I will have in game now. So to do the shop level, we are going to type in shop level and hit find next. And shop level, this again is the only result you will get. So one thing to note, if you click anywhere else on this document outside of this line, if we click here, it throws me to a random line of code. So it's very easy to lose yourself. So if we hit find next again, we're right here and we want to click in the string of code so that it will put us exactly where we want to be. It doesn't just throw it off. Um, this works just like it did on the GD file. So if I type in 80, I will be level 81 in game. So next we want current day. And this again is the only re uh, result you will get in the find. So this, just like the other, is behind one. So if I change this to, let's just say 80, it will be day. 81. For the next one, we want to type in room unlocked. So this is going to bring up a couple different ones if we go through, um, or there's a couple different things in here we need to change, but this is the only result you will get by typing in room unlocked. So right here, this line of code is, is warehouse room unlocked? So in the other one, we typed a one there instead of a zero. And this, we are gonna type the word true. 
warehouse room, or I'm sorry, unlock room count. This is for your main shop. Just like before, it has 20 total upgrades. So typing in 20 there will give you the entire uh, shop unlocked. And then unlock warehouse room count still has eight possible upgrades. So that will unlock the uh, warehouse and make it fully open for you. So we've done cash, we've done shop level, we've done the rooms, we've done current day. The next thing we're going to do is the event. And this one is a little bit longer, but we're going to type in game report data collect. And I'll have everything linked down below um, with what you need to type in so that you can just copy and paste it. So this is going to bring up a couple of different ones. So this one just says game report data collect. That is not the one we want. We want to hit enter again and we want the one that says game report data collect permanent. You can type in permanent, but since there's only two responses, I just left it at one. And what we want to do is we want to scroll over. We don't want customers visited, checkout, dissatisfied. We want to go to customer played. This is the one we want to change to 5,000 and that will unlock every event that you can possibly get up to um, hollow heaven. So the next one is the more intensive one. That is the one for the cards to give yourself the cards. So if we type in parentheses, expansion type parentheses, oh, we are going to get a couple of different things. So there are only 10 possible responses. So that was one. This is two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we hit it one more time, we'll go back to the front. So I know that it didn't look like it was changing. That's because the code is exactly the same between the pages. But this will give you, uh, it will bring you to the very first line, and you have ten total because you have ten slots on your card table. This is just like before. Expansion type zero is for base Tetramon, one is for Destiny and two is for ghost cards. So we're gonna leave our first one here as base, dest or base Tetramon. Monster type is gonna be whatever number that card shows in the TCG price guide. So let's do card 61. Border type, zero is gonna be your basic, uh, basic card. One is gonna be first edition, two is gonna be silver, three is gonna be gold, four is going to be EX, and five is going to be full art. So let's do a an EX here. Is foil, you only have two choices, false and true. So we're going to change this to true. Is destiny, we are not going to bother with. That is only for the ghost cards. If you're doing a base set or a, I'm sorry, if you're doing a Tetramon or a Destiny set, you will not change this. That, again, is only for the ghost cards. We're not going to worry about champion, and we're not going to worry about is new. So next, we will do a Destiny card. So expansion type will be 1. Card will be card 15. I'm going to scroll over a little bit so we can see better. Uh, border type, let's do a 5, which is going to be full art. We are going to leave foil as false, so it will not be a foil card. And that's the last line we need to worry about in that. So we are going to go over again. I apologize, you guys probably hear my dog in the background. Expansion type, we are going to put in 2. This is going to be for ghost. Your ghost cards still are only... Uh, ending on the legendary cards, which are all on fours. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. So we are going to do card 24. We do not have to do border type. Uh, we will make this a foil. So we are going to type true. And we are going to leave destiny as false. But we are going to do the exact same card over here. But we're going to make it a destiny. So we are making it two. Monster type is 24. Foil, we will make true. And is destiny, we are going to make true. And that's it.
that's all we have to do and save it now it is saved and since we open it up in the directory we we don't have to download it and then move it over to the save file location all we have to do is save it so now when we load up card shop simulator it, all the changes that we made will be effective so load game and we it can already see here we are day 81 level 81 with six million nine hundred and one thousand dollars or six hundred six million nine hundred thousand and one dollar and as soon as we load in we will see everything unlocked the store and the warehouse fully opened and we will see the cards on the table and the events able to be changed so here's our warehouse fully upgraded our shop fully upgraded our cards So that is the EX we did. This is the Destiny Full Art. And then we got Fish Trunk and Fish Trunk. Which I believe Fish Trunk. Is that number 24 or is this lying to me? Nope, it is, it is Fish Trunk. So the difference between the Destiny uh, full or I'm sorry the destiny ghost and the regular is again the background some of the base set are black on the background and white in the destiny and the other ones are white in the background and then black in the destiny now if we go into our event we can change in here and you can see we have everything unlocked so everything that we did in the GD files can now be done through the JSON file it is the exact same process. It's a little bit different because of the way we have to do it. Um, just ensure that one, you have a backup of all of your your gameplay because you don't want to lose your progress that you've made. So always make a backup that you can go back to and only change what I showed you to change. If you type in anything else in those lines of code, one character that it doesn't recognize, it can throw off and corrupt your entire game save and you'll lose all of your progress and I think that's it so make sure you stick around I have found a way to change your store name so we are going to be going over that and I'm looking at a way to get rid of smelly customers completely so you don't have to worry about spraying them you don't have to worry about them coming in you don't have to worry about the auto sense any of that so I appreciate appreciate you guys watching let me know down below what you guys think. Make sure you leave a like and a uh, subscribe. Again, tell me anything down in the comments that you guys want to see in the next ones. I appreciate it.